Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my makeup desk, my makeup vanity. No, nope, it's a makeup desk. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while now since I started back doing YouTube videos again. And I just, for one, I don't know, I just keep on putting it off. But regardless, it's what I'm doing today. So if you wanna see that, if you wanna see me expose myself, make sure you keep on watching. First of all, hi, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos. I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Now to get into the declutter. Here is an, oh, no, I'm gonna stand because my chair is still a little bit squeaky. Here's an overview of my desk whenever you open it up. On top of my desk, it stays fairly organized. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this is what it looks like whenever you first open. I'm just gonna open up my desk. I'm gonna give you kind of an overview. Um, I do have also a makeup organization video that I will link for you guys. So I continued with keeping my eyeshadow palettes over here, but I do also have like my combs because whenever I curl my hair, I curl my hair in here. So I have that and then there's also, nope, okay, there's also like a clip in here that I use to clip up my hair. I got this bin from Target, it came, came in a set of three. I'm using one to put like in my bathroom that I have my uh, like toothbrush, floss and stuff like that in and I think I might have another one, I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, this kind of has turned into a little bit of a clutter. We're going to try to maybe organize that a little bit better. Same with this situation. I have like foundations, powders, concealers. Over here I have bronzers, highlighters. Back there is my lip products. So this is what it looks like at the beginning before we organize it. I organize it and you come along with me to organize it. So here's the before. And does this look okay? Hopefully so. So I'm gonna like to declutter and then put things here. But I'm gonna keep put things here that I am going to get rid of. And that's my thought process. I literally hit record and then just waited because to see if it's still recording because clearly I just like decluttered all of my eyeshadows, or my eyeshadow palettes and it was not recording. Like I'm trying not to be too upset. So I think we're gonna work backwards and I'm going to show you what I'm keeping. I'm sorry if that's boring for you, but I really don't wanna put everything back and go through it. Again, like I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Um, so I was taking everything out of this container because I wanna clean this out. As you can see, like that hasn't been cleaned out in a bit and I should probably clean this little sponge guy. But um, I have like my eyebrow products and also my um, setting spray I kept in there. So I'm gonna keep things in here, but I wanna clean this out. Like the amount of times that I'm just gonna check that it's still recording, I can't. Anyway, okay, let me run you through that, the palettes quickly. I, I say I'm not gonna put everything back, but I kinda wanna just like tell you what I'm keeping. So I am keeping this guy. I forgot about him until yesterday, and it's really pretty. I like this color, this is like a really, like loose swatch of it. I just think it's pretty. It's like a nice transition color, but also, it, yeah, anyway. I like it, I'm a fan. This is a good transition shade. I don't use this as much, but like I like that has purple. And I don't use the blue as much, but we see that I have used it some. And the gold, I'm like, I have other gold eyeshadows, but I do wanna keep this guy. I am keeping this one. I'm keeping the eyeshadow palettes on this side, so I'm keeping this one. Also, I realized one, um, like before I decluttered that like no matter like the eyeshadow palettes that I had, I kind of mostly gravitated toward the Rare Beauty ones because these are the newer ones. I love the packaging, I love Rare Beauty. And um, so I kind of have mostly gravitated toward these, but also using these with like a combination of a single shadow, which I keep in this little storage container. So that's kind of what I've been doing a lot recently for my eyeshadow. So I'm keeping those. I'm keeping this palette. This is the Roaring Hearts palette from ColourPop my bestie recently gave me. I do want to keep this. This is a Tarte palette. Also, I am keeping the original Naked Urban Decay palette because I think my grandpa might have given this to me. But also, this is like, I think one of my like first high-end eyeshadow palettes. So it's a nostalgia thing. Also, um, it's discontinued. Like they don't make this anymore. So keeping it. From like Laura Lee Los Angeles, I think is the name of the brand. Yes, but yeah, this is what it looks like inside. Like how pretty are these colors, especially this one is unique. Like not saying that, you know, there's like other just really, really pretty colors, but this one especially I think is so unique right here. And I love doing colorful look. So I'm gonna start using this some more. Again, I am keeping this Pat McGrath palette. I got this as a birthday gift. 
I'm keeping this Marvelous Moss palette. Like the name implies, it has like purples in it. I am definitely keeping this Lizzie McGuire ColourPop palette. I recently watched the Lizzie McGuire movie again with my bestie and I still loved it. And yeah. this one is also colorful, so yeah, keeping. I think I want to keep this Urban Decay one, which is like reflective, so I don't really want to show. Like, I don't know. It's anyway. Um, also, I think I want to keep this iconic London one, at least for now. Like, I'm aware that I don't use it much, but like the colors are pretty, especially this, these two together are pretty. And you know, like these are good mattes. Okay, so I cleaned this out. I cleaned especially this out, but yeah, I cleaned this section, this out. Also, this contact paper I think I got from Dollar Tree, but it's been a little bit, so I'm not sure if you could still get that there. This desk I got from TJ Maxx, like the TJ Maxx slash Home Goods section. Okay. So we are going to just go back and organize, put things back. Oh no, I think I am going to get rid of this because I don't use that palette anymore. I think, I don't know, that this would just be really hard for me to get rid of this both of these. I think I'm going to keep them for now. I might get rid of them later. I know, I know. But like that is significantly decluttered. I, I don't know if I'd say significantly, but it's decluttered. These are just some oil water cheat sheets. These are eyebrow products mostly and then eyeshadow primer and setting spray. Okay, now on to this middle section over here. And I set these things aside because that's what I'm getting rid of. I need to clean this. This is um, hand sanitizer that I like to keep in there. I don't use them that much, to be completely honest, and I probably don't need two in there right now. Let's just put one because two makes it unnecessarily cluttered. I'm gonna keep the other one, but I will just you know use it later. This is my cellar water in a little spray bottle, and I use the cotton rounds. Sometimes I use that for cleaning up makeup. Uh, concealer, I don't use this anymore. This is old trash, gross. This is like a face, I use this as a face. This section especially, like you probably can't see. I might I might show you, um, but yeah, this has gotten dirty for sure. This is a new sunscreen. I just opened this today because I ran out of my sunscreen and I got this in uh, my FabFitFun. Yeah, foundations that I'm keeping. I like mixing these two together because this is very fair. And I mean, it might not make a whole, whole lot of difference, but I do mix these together. This is in the shade, oh, this is in the shade two porcelain beige. And then this is in the shade Y205. <clears throat> this is concealer is too dark for me right now. I am almost out of this concealer. I should probably try to use the rest of this. I think that these are the same shade. Yeah, they are. But this one's just almost out. This is a newer one, but these are too dark for me right now. This is a uh, glitter from that like collaboration with Lizzie McGuire as well with ColourPop. This is a newer translucent powder. This is Laura Mercier. I'm almost out of this It Cosmetics one. I need to use the rest of this up. Um, I think I'm going to keep this for now. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just don't really use it. I don't know. It just kind of like swayed me from using it or it kind of has like a white like um, flashback or something. I don't I don't know. I just don't, I don't use it. I don't plan on using it. I don't see myself using it. Therefore, I should get rid of it. Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do. This is a powder. I don't use it as much, but I have used it. It's from Laura Geller. I think I, I think I am going to keep this because I, I don't know, for some reason I can't get rid of both of them. Even though I mostly gravitate towards my all-nighter setting powder and I do plan on repurchasing this most likely whenever I use it up. This is just um, the poof that came with that powder, throwing this away. And random things throwing away. This is a random cap, not sure what it goes to. And then I need to clean this guy. And do you see how dirty that is? Like, like look at that. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna clean that out and then I will be back. Okay, now that is cleaner than it was. I know it's not like brand new, but it's better than it was. So we're getting rid of that powder. I 
I, I know that these are too dark for me right now, but I do still want to keep these here because like no sense in putting them in a different location, I don't think. I know that this is like face products, but I want to, I don't know, I want to keep this here because it keeps it in my mind that it's here. And also I've just kept that there. So we're going to, we're going to keep it there for now. <laughs> I could put that with my eye products though. Now this back one in the middle, that's probably like the messiest of them as in it has the most random stuff. So I have my makeup wipes, which I've mentioned before. I mostly just use those for if I'm like cleaning up or if I like mix, when I mix my foundations together, I, you know, use that to wipe that off because it's on the back of my hand. Not sure why that's in there, but that's trash. I have my blushes back here. I have brushes that I don't use. <laughs> like I shouldn't. I'm, I don't want to keep this one. I don't, I don't like this one. And then I don't know, like it's hard for me to get rid of brushes that I don't use, but we're going to set these aside and then maybe do something with them. Um, I have like press on nail stuff. So we're just going to set these things aside and oh, that goes with one of them. Then some more blush, blush, I need to clean this. This is an old blush and I think it's like almost out. Yeah. Okay, so throwing this away. So I'm getting rid of that blush. This is another NARS blush. Well, not another. I think I just have one NARS blush. I don't use this literally ever, and I'm going to get rid of it. Yep, we're going to get rid of it. It's hard, but we're going to get rid of it. I cannot remember the last time I used it. Um, I think I'm probably going to get rid of this guy, too, because for sure forgot that I had it. Yep, getting rid of it. Oh, I thought that that was a cream, but it's not. Um... Oh yeah, that's a cream. Okay. And it kind of looks a little bit warmer. Yeah, get her in a bit. This uh, friend gave to me because she didn't use it anymore and I don't really use it anymore either. So getting rid of it. Here's some more brushes that I don't use that I just, you know, kind of put back there that I need to figure out something to do. This is a good brush. I just have a different brush. I could use this as like my powder for my under eyes. Um, I should maybe, I think I'm going to clean this and maybe start, um, using it again or at least putting it out and I might start using it again this I don't plan on using I don't know I just don't I need to find a use for that this is another random cap this is um, a lip scrub and then like a lip mask definitely keeping those and then here I have my cotton rounds in this little container it came with a lid but if the lids on I don't think they're the drawer closes so I'm going to clean, this is not nearly as messy as my like foundation and concealer one was, but I'm going to still clean that out and then I'll be back. Okay, and I'm aware I'm going to put like probably them in the same location because it's kind of what works. Or at least like those for sure I know are going to stay in this drawer. And I do like having blush in this drawer, it just, I don't like how it ended up. Actually, could I put blush in this drawer? So no, we're not going to put blush back there. I am going to put my makeup wipes, back, makeup wipes back here though, and then my nail things I'm going to put back here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for now, and maybe go from there. Next, I am going to go through this drawer. So, I use this is NARS Laguna bronzer. I use this. This is kind of like an old bronzer. It's also NARS Laguna, but it doesn't, like the powder doesn't work anymore. So I literally just use this for a mirror. Probably gonna continue to use that. That may not make sense, but it does to me. This doesn't have a mirror. I do use this periodically. I'd also got this in a subscription box. It's also a bronzer. But here, this one, literally never use anymore. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna think about that. But I'm most likely gonna get rid of it. Um, I think I wanna keep this guy. This is a bronzing palette. It's hard for me to get rid of like a lot of things at once. I, do, I know I don't use this. I literally almost solely use my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm probably like, let me see how much is left. Cause I'm probably going to like get another one whenever I do run out of this. But I like the concept of having, the idea of having this, so I'm probably gonna keep it. These are some lipstick samples. We'll put over there. This, I think, is shattered. Yeah, I actually forgot that I had this, but I think I do want to keep it for 
for a little bit longer. I know, I, I know, I hear it, I know, but I am getting rid of this one. This one's older and it's also shattered, but getting rid of that one. I did use this for, you know, a decent amount of time. I hit pan. Um, this is a Benefit Hula bronzer, but I just don't really use it anymore. I, I think I might get rid of that. Never, literally never use this. I think this is this a highlighter getting rid of. That's old too. Getting rid of this Too Faced bronzer. This is old, but I did hit pan. But I just never use it anymore. I think I want to get rid of this as well. I use this highlighter almost every single day for sure keeping. It's color popped. It's one of their like super shop highlighters. Pretty keeping, obviously. And I'm also going to keep this. This is a um, Ofra highlighter in the shade Star Island. Star Island. <laughs> keeping that. I rotate between these two. I still use this, but like this is almost my sole. Like my highlighter that I use almost. Like if I'm gonna use highlighter, I'm most likely I'm gonna use this. I used this one today, so I do use like other highlighters, but I wanna keep this. This is also like highlighter. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this. These are also highlighter, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, I just never use it. Let me, let me, mm, we're most likely gonna get rid of it, but I need to think about this one. Okay, now I think it would be better if I keep highlighter in here, so I think I'm going to do that with that as the goal. I'm going to still put this in the bottom. Nope, that's the blush. This is the bronzer. Put blush in the middle. Honestly, I don't really use these shades that much. Like I'm, I mostly just use this one, which is Tarte Risqué. But I'm going to keep the other ones because, once, like I said, I can't get rid of too many things at once. It, it, it is what it is. Like I probably will very rarely use this, but like I like having it. Okay. I, I, I can't, well at least I, I just can't get rid of it right now. Okay. This is a Lancome blush that's also kind of bright. Not my tip. Well actually it doesn't look that bright now, but I do actually use this one periodically. It just looks so lonely. It looks so bare. Like I definitely need to put my blush in here. Um, I actually wasn't really planning on decluttering. I guess I, well, no, I don't know. I guess I just hadn't thought of it too much. Now the lip products, I feel like that's gonna be like the real declutter. Like I don't really wanna have to take everything out of this, but we're gonna go through. Okay, I'm gonna take out, oh, there's, that's where the third container went. I'm gonna take this out. I'm just going to allow these to spread out and I can kind of see more what's in here get rid of like I, I I know if I never use it keep for now absolutely a hundred percent keeping I love this um, it's, mm, we're gonna think about that one get rid of that one's old keep absolutely love Also keeping, um, also keeping, also keeping. Okay, let me clean this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the keep in here. Clean this out. I feel like I'm gonna keep more from this section because like my lip liners, I'm gonna keep like all of those probably. So I know having them at the bottom probably won't make sense. Also, I didn't realize that I had this many lip liners. Hmm, interesting. I am, I am gonna get rid of this one though. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in there. Those are my lip liners. And then, oh, so this would go in this compartment. This is a liquid lipstick. I'm keeping this, this is in Velvet Teddy. And I think, uh, this was in the bottom of my bag. I actually forgot that I had this. So obviously keeping. Um, ooh, okay. Well, did not expect that. So we're going to get rid of that. And then I need to clean this out. And let me put this back here. And I will be back. 
I still don't have my final decision on the products that I'm thinking about, so I'm just going to leave them like aside for now. So this is the final product um, or the finished product, and then I might like add a few things back. But overall, this is the finished product. Let me do kind of an overview. I know it may not look a whole lot different. Like I didn't really plan on you know totally rearranging this, but I am glad that I finally decluttered it because I have been wanting to do this for a while, especially I feel like I did a pretty good job on the um, lipstick, like lip products, and I wasn't planning on putting my blushes down here, but I think that that'll be good that they're down here now. And yeah, overall I like this. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also feel free to stick around and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.